So, Molly just informed me that she walked in on you and Jason having sex. <laughs> what? No, are you kidding? No, Jason and I, we were fully clothed. Oh, well, uh, that's... No, wait a minute. That, that, no, listen, I would never in a million years have s sex in front of any uh, one of my I'm, little sister. Of course I'm not saying that. Look, you're a big girl. You know, you can have sex with whoever you want, whatever you want, wherever you want. That's not my point. My point is, is the, the, the choices that... You made, you know, well, first to take Christina to the to the mall with a stakeout with you, and then the key thing is... To, the, the key? You gave a 10-year-old a key to your apartment, which allowed her to walk in on Wait a minute, Jason. back up for a second. Mom, her, her school is a couple blocks away in case of emergencies. I'm like, here's the key. Okay, all right, I, I get it. But in the future, you know, I'm the mom, and you need to run these things by me. And if there's an emergency, yeah. I need to know okay. about it and, and, you know, and know where I'm, she is. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I should not have given her the key. Sorry. Okay. Look. These girls, they think, you know, you're everything. They look up to you. You're beautiful. They think your life is so glamorous and adventurous. <laughs> it's far from me glamorous, but I'm certainly not going to make excuses for my life. Uh, I mean, I think we can both admit we've made some odd choices with men. Uh, I would like to think that that's behind us right now. Sam, you're having sex with a mobster. I'm, ju I'm just saying that the girls look up to you. I mean, they're watching you all the time, so it's probably a good idea if we set some limits.